All right, we are here with uh, oh, SGS, Strategic Game Studios, I believe. The version of War and Peace, based a lot upon the old Avalon Hills War and Peace game that has recently been redone by Compass Games, am I correct? But uh, yeah, we're sitting down here getting ready to uh, get into scenario number two. Now I've done scenario one, it was Italy, it took me about four games and I finally won it, so we're moving on to Egypt. And I've played that once and lost. As a matter of fact, uh, Napoleon ended up getting captured or killed, he was eliminated, but the game didn't end for some reason, it kept on going on. Uh, I think I ended it when it got back around Alexandria. Uh, but we're sitting down here, we got a little bit of a... Ooh. Players Aid Boys going on here. Having a good time for the holidays. I got a kid in the candy store playing these games. Let me get you on over here real quick to, uh, let me see, a new game. And we are over here to the scenario number two, which will be Egypt. And then you have your uh, game title. Of course, they give you the synopsis and everything. Uh, but uh, you can play the game solitaire where you play both sides, I guess. I haven't yet to use that. Wouldn't mind doing the multiplayer online. That'd be great. But I, what, the Christmas Eve when I got it, I did get online and there was nobody playing the game. <laughs> but uh, we usually play against the AI. And we play as the Empire. Oh, yeah. They got a really good graphics. You see, these are... You can get a post like that and hang it up on your wall. But, yeah... Other than that, I have played the game, and it is, uh, ooh, what word am I looking for, playability, or plays just like, almost, uh, the board game, and I got a video of me playing an opponent with Avalon Hill's old, uh, uh, War and Peace game, so, there you go, we're getting ready to load on up here, and voila! Just set this real quick. Uh, we can do this all. I can't look through the camera. Gotta look at myself. All right, victory conditions. Here you go. I got a bunch of stuff here. About. Yeah, here you go. You can read on and on and on for it. All right. It's victory conditions are as follows. And that sound you hear is that little gerbil. Oh, we got to turn it the wheel in here. Uh, it is the one loud ML, ML. It was an expensive computer, water cooled. But uh, yeah, she's going to have to go to the shop. And I guess that's the hard drive making a bunch of noise. But let's go ahead and uh, start the scenario if we can. And here you go. Like I said, I've played this before. Uh, this is a nice little mini map they got if you ever have the game you know how big the map can be but we're just concentrating and zeroed in on this little area around the sinai and here comes napoleon i guess is this is his fleet and oh what is what that be at bucher bay huh. but uh napoleon comes on in my last game i think what we, we tried to do is i sent some units here but mostly it was a fight down the Nile. And Napoleon got down here. The key thing is, is the whole... And one thing about this game is you got to garrison these cities behind you. Which siphons off units. So he starts out with 14. By the time he's done with battles and everything gets down here, he's got about two or three units left. So then the uh, uh, Egyptians make an appearance. And they're well uh, reinforced. And I think we had a battle here in my last game. My only game I played on this one, and Napoleon was eliminated because I couldn't find him all on the map. But uh, hold on a second. Uh, the battles, he started driving us back here, and I had some of his secondary generals around here getting their butts kicked or something. I think I ended the game. But uh, there you go. Now they do have the Turks that come in here. I guess these yellow units are Egyptians. And there's Napoleon himself. Now in the beginning of the game, He's not as strong as he is later on. So his, his command bonuses and everything, and his, the amount of troops that he can command are reduced on these early scenarios. So it gets better. But other than that, it's a really good game. Uh, we are 
having a real good time with that uh, SGSs. Or no, it's not SGSs. I forgot who did that uh, Civil War game, Grand Tactician. But we played uh, our first battle, Battle of Bull Run, and we won. <laughs> and the thing of it is, I set the difficulty to uh, extreme or to high, as high as it could go. And uh, I don't know how good that AI was. Because I was, it was, a, it was a trouncing. So I think I'd rather play a live player on that game. But uh, we're getting ready, like I said, to get that mod for that game where you actually start off as a general or a lieutenant and you work your way up. So we're, I will give it a little drop in on that. But I'm getting ready to sit down here with the, my second game of oh, things kind of buggy. Come on, you can move. There you go. My second game of War and Peace: The Egyptian Scenario. Counters look good. They're basic. Uh, that three, let me see here. There you go. That three is the remaining movement allowance he has. The blue stripe means a force may move their full allowance. The two is the morale of troops, leadership, number of infantry, cavalry, pretty basic. But uh, their combat results table is based on the war and peace system from Avalon Hill with morale losses. And you could have, after you have certain rounds of combat, and after your rounds of combat, if you have units that are next to them, you can try to call in reinforcements, but that's all based on dire. It's great. It's a good It's a good system. It's got everything in there for sieges and everything else. So uh, having a great time with war and peace. More gaming than a human being should be allowed to have <laughs> on the holidays. I'm telling you what, 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 what uh, it's work time. I hardly ever get to see a game, but uh, I'll be doing this until spring. So... Lots of videos on their way, people. We'll be back. All right, well, here's where I have gotten. You can do a little zoom in. Like I said, you have to garrison these units. Now, I don't know if the Turks are going to get involved here. It gives you a little drop in down here. We've gotten pretty far. But the Egyptians got a big old 11, I guess more camels or cavalry. But they're not attacking me yet. But more importantly, we seem to have froze up here. <laughs> so, game's still a little buggy, people. And uh, we're going to stop it here, reboot it on up, and just have some fun. Mess around with some War and Peace. Uh, good game, good graphics. Uh, on the Steam sale. Still goes on until January 4th. Buy some games for Christmas. Be back.